that's where we're going up there to the monastery right it's saturday 19 degrees start on a little climb here up to a monastery near Pereres which is kind of in the center of Mallorca it's a very nice day just a very slight easterly wind and uh, as you can probably hear I've got a very annoying creek coming from my bottom bracket area and I don't know if it's the new rotor crank that's doing it I don't know if it's the, the blue T47 cups that have come slightly loose or the bearing within them. I've had the crank out and re-greased it. Checked all the torques, they're fine. It's not that. Check the pedal, uh, that's fine. It's not that, they're new anyway, Jury race. But where they can be short of grease. Nice little religious crossy thing there. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's just really annoying. I'm gonna have to, I think, take the cups out, re-grease those. Um, but the, uh, oh, hello. The, um, the news of the day is that I've signed up for the Etape du Tour. Well, to be precise, I was actually already signed up, but kind of made it official for the 4th of July. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that uh, the course will quite suit me because there's a lot of medium sized climbs quite a lot of descents which I can usually catch up some time with the younger guys that have overtaken me on the climbs and now that I've moved from old to officially very old I might have another shot at the top 10 in the over 50s well we'll see see how it goes if it's a really hot day probably not because I, I really suffer I wonder when it's really hot but uh, we'll have a quick look at the course, if anyone else is doing it, and see. But we're getting to the monastery now. And you can see the view. There we go. And the monastery. Very nice. And yeah, so it's only a few months away. I hope it takes place, despite all the virus. And uh, should be a good one. I don't know how many, I think it'll be down on the usual 15,000, maybe half that. But uh, the course is really good. And yeah, fingers crossed, they get training. These little caterpillars, you find them all over Mallorca and they go across top to tail like that for a long, long way. And apparently they're very poisonous. If you touch them, you get a really nasty reaction on your skin. So I won't be trying that in a hurry. Super quiet up here. You can understand why the monks would come and build a monastery. Not a lot around. This is about a two, bit less than 2K climb. We actually had a, a villa here a few years ago where we were doing a yoga and cycling retreat just around the corner from here. And this was one of the places we would race up it's still quite a lung buster but uh yeah it's about 40k back to palma should have a slight tailwind perfect conditions for the ostro even though it's creaking so let's head back to palma i'm on this really fantastic road from Pereres to luke mayor i think it's about nine kilometers and it's just rolling smooth tarmac with a couple of bends just to make it a bit more interesting it's got some little ups and downs in it it's very quiet it's hardly any cars use this road and yet it's uh it's brilliant quality with a slight tailwind like this oh, that's, it's really good fun so i'm just nearing palma now going past the airport you can see all these british airways planes uh, parked up here there's actually a lot less than there were there's about 20 I can see about eight or so now um, because of the virus obviously they weren't flying and this was deemed to be I guess a cheap and dry place to park them but maybe soon they'll be flying again bringing cyclists to the island this is, the, this is the race profile for the attack du tour 
this year, but same as last year, because it never got, never happened. Um, so, I mean, you can see here, the first part of the race is 50K of faux plat, as they say, like it's you're going up a bit less than 1% the whole way. So it'll be pretty fast. And if you want to do a decent time, the key thing here is to get into a nice group that's all pulling well, and you should be doing, you know, 35 kilometers an hour plus along here um, if it's going nicely. And it kind of depends as well what pen you start in, because if you start right at the back, you're not really going to get a decent group together. Whereas if you're in one of the front pens, which hopefully it will be, um, it should be a nice strong group that will pull everyone all the way to this point here, and then it will just all fall apart and everyone gets smashed here. This is a big old climb. I've, I've never done these climbs before, actually. Uh, Colmiane and the Turini, I've never done. The Eze, the Eze I've done. Um, so these two are unknown for me. I've ridden most of the, of the climbs in the Alps, but not, not these two. So yeah, they're, they're pretty, pretty chunky climbs. Um, long, not, not too steep. Um, this is nice. This is a nice sort of gradient for me. Six, 7% is okay. When it gets to nine, 10, it's, you know, it's tough. And one of the Etape du Tours, uh, Col de la Jouplaine was, is 10% more or less 10 kilometers. That, that's really tough, but this should be, well, it's going to be tough, but it's not too bad. So, you know, don't go too crazy on this first climb here. Um, then descend, pick up something to drink, chop up the water bottles here. Uh, and another strong climb, we can go a little bit harder because you've got a lot of descending after that, all the way down, back down to here. And then just when you think it's all over, Condese, which is no walk in the park uh, up here and then descend to the line. Trouble is with these things is there's often some nice feed stops where you can chop up on cheese and fruit and all sorts of things but if you want to get a decent result you can't really stop or you have to just ride in at full speed and just kind of sweep some stuff off the table with your arm and ride out the other side which doesn't make you very popular so um yeah it kind of depends on the day really how hot it is and how hungry you feel and all that sort of thing um but it's really not worth leaving behind a good a good group here to get some food just stay with them really and then go up here so yeah it should be fun